Well, firstly, uh, Paul, there must be a party atmosphere in the, the fan base, but the players must, must just be focused on the game on Saturday. Yeah, unfortunately, we've not been able to relax uh, too much just yet. Technically, we still need uh, another point. And, um, you know, again, we've worked hard this week and uh, had a good session Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, we're playing Chelsea on Saturday. What have you made their season so far? Well, it's improved massively since uh, Kevin May has taken over. Uh, their form over the last six or seven games has been fabulous. Um, just the one defeat to Ebsleet and, uh, you know, they've, they, they've got a way of playing. Bricknell uh, and Williams up top are a threat and the two wide boys are a threat. And, uh, you know, mixing them up, so they've got some good grafters. So it's going to be a really good game. Um, champs would normally come with a really good support as well. So I'm hoping for a, a, another good occasion. Uh, what's the team news for Saturday? Team news for Saturday, certainly Dan Wishart comes back into the, uh, into the squad. Uh, we only lose Kevin Amankwa uh, through suspension, but Kevin would have been injured uh, regardless. Uh, the starting eleven we put on Saturday, is that the best starting eleven we can put out? No, I don't think so. I think we got the best starting 18, really. Um, you know, when you think that Ryan Burge uh, still isn't available and Craig McAllister's has not really still been available. Um, you know, Craig Dundas has come in and been part of the best eleven on many times this season. It was just what we felt uh, was the right team to play against Edson for Saturday. And again, on Saturday, uh, Bolly and uh, Fitch are delivering at the big moment again, especially on, on, under pressure to put us 1-0 up. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, something that's worked well. You know, I think Dan would accept that a lot of his assists have come from Ross and from uh, from Tom Barnara. Um, Tom's had an excellent last sort of six months of the season, as, as of most of the team. But certainly, you know, the wide men have uh, caused a, a lot of problems to most teams this year. And uh, he spoke to me a few weeks ago saying uh, you can cope with the pressure well and you haven't half proved that. Yeah, no, it's, um, as I said, it's always been one game at a time. That's been the analogy for, for, for quite a long time now. Um, you know, I'd like to think we could get a win on Saturday or you know, a, a point and hopefully we can go and celebrate winning the title sooner than Oxford. But you know, if not, if we have to go to Oxford and do something there, then we'll make sure we're ready to do that as well. And uh, it must be great as well that the coverage was on uh, the BT Sport National League highlight show. Yeah, well, again, you know, that's one of the nice things about if we do go up next season uh, with the BT Sport and the BT Highlights, it does mean that your profile, the club's profile will grow, the sponsor's profile can grow. And it's nice, yeah, it was nice to see something on the, on, on the programme last week. And lastly, at uh, what moment in the season did you think we actually have a genuine chance of winning the league? Um, probably after the Maystone game. We um, knew that was a huge game. We knew that Maystone were a decent side. Uh, and to go to their ground in front of, sort of 3,000 people and put on a great performance with only 10 men really gave us that final, probably that final bit of belief that we could keep the run going. But, you know, we've had to win every game. As I said, massive credit to Ebsleet as well, who under normal circumstances, um, you know, wouldn't have faced a team that's had to go on a 24-game run to try and catch them. But as I said, technically, and we, we must remember this, technically we've still not done it yet. Um, so, you know, more work to be done, Tom. And um, now on to uh, the £5 coach, Cheryl Fox, well, that must be fantastic for the fans for the final day of the season. Yeah, spoke to uh, spoke to the chairman, uh, he put forward the idea, and I think it's a great idea, all the players and the management and the, uh, and the club are hugely behind the idea. I think we've almost filled the first coach before Saturday, which is great news, but yeah, I mean, to come and hopefully see us lift the title uh, at Oxford or see us in our last game as potentially champions would be a you know would be a great thing to see as many uh, Sutton fans there wearing their colours as we can. And also the scene ticket sales for next season have gone through the roof already. Yeah, I understand from uh, from Bruce again that we we just hit the 500 mark already, uh, which is incredible uh, when you think the season's still running. Um, you know, the people within the club are desperate to get to a thousand season tickets. Um, it gives us a, a brilliant base moving forward. Um, you know, I think the next offer is only £5.50 per game uh, if we were to get the 23 games in a conference. So to get in for £5.50, I think it's less than combined counties league prices. Um, so the club's doing everything it can to attract the new support base and, uh, and you know, keep the existing supporting base coming back uh, to watch the team. Uh, Paul, thank you very much for talking to SUFC TV and good luck for Saturday's game. Lovely, thanks Tom. Thank you. You've got a massive game against Chelsea for this weekend. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, um, obviously we know that if we win, we get three points, then that's basically the league done. So, yeah, really looking forward to it and hopefully if we uh, keep playing the way we have been, we'll, uh, we'll be alright. How do you find the process of finding your feet in the National League South? Well, uh, I've played in it before when I was a bit younger, so I know what the league's all about. Um, yeah, just, just trying to help the team out as best as I can and uh, try and put in some good performances. 
And how much are you enjoying getting a consistent run run of games together now? Yeah, obviously I haven't done it for a little while. So it's nice that uh, the injuries are holding out. But um, yeah, just um, enjoying my football at the minute and hopefully we can top it off with a win on Saturday. And uh, how much your fitness gone up from previous seasons? Um, no, well, I just need to play some games. That's it at the minute. I haven't done a pre-season for three seasons now. So uh, yeah, it's just good, good to get a run of games and get my fitness back to where it needs to be. And uh, how's your connection be with uh, Eastman and Gomez in the midfield? You, you guys make a very nice uh, midfield trio. Yeah, um, they're obviously good players and we know what we can do and we've been showing what we can do. So, uh, yeah, if we, we keep playing the way we have been, um, I think we'll be all right. And how proud are you that you're possibly going to take your local team up to the National League? Yeah, obviously, uh, I was here before. Um, come seconds, so we didn't quite uh, get there. But um, yeah, it'd be nice to get um, one of my local teams up. I've got a, who I've got a lot of time for, and hopefully we we can do it for the fans on Saturday. Uh, what's been the most testing part of the season? Playing a uh, Gosport, Willstone, Turo away from home one week, or the games against Mesa and Eversley? Um, no, we just take each game as it comes. Obviously, like, there's been bigger games than, other, than others. Like obviously playing against teams that are uh, higher in the league, we know we've got to win. Um, but playing, going away to all these other teams like Truro, they're tough games, but the, but the lads have dug in and done well and um, gone on this amazing run that they've been on. If Sutton uh, go up to Nash League, are you possibly going to stay next season? Yeah, obviously, um, it's something I spoke to the manager about and hopefully uh, we can get something sorted. Uh, Nicky, thank you very much for talking to SRF TV and good luck Saturday's game. Cheers, thank you.